Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and I want to show you in this video how I get my miniatures ready for painting. I want to show you the steps I follow from getting the sprues out of the box to getting them mounted ready for undercoating. For me, painting the miniatures is a more enjoyable part of the hobby, but it's still a good idea to make sure we do a good job of building and putting the miniatures together. So I like to take this time to make sure I do everything I can to make the painting process as easy and enjoyable as I can. And here's how I do that. When you open the box you're going to find a number of sprues your miniatures are still attached to. And I know it's tempting to get stuck in and start cutting the parts off the sprue, but take some time first of all to go through the instructions. The instructions are full of information you'll need to build your miniatures. Each part is clearly numbered with detailed images showing you the best order to put the parts together and you can also see the different options to how you can build some of these miniatures as well. When you're ready to start building you can use a pair of clippers to remove parts from the sprue. I like to cut a little distance away with the flat side of the clippers facing the part you want to remove from the sprue. You can either cut and clean the parts as you follow the instructions or cut all the pieces off that you'll need first and then clean them all together. Just make sure you keep the parts organised. When it comes to cleaning the parts I like to use a scraping tool, although not exclusively as I do use a craft knife from time to time. Just be careful not to cut yourself and work in a direction away from your body. I like the scraping tool because it gives you a lot of control. You can be very gentle with it, but you can also be a lot more heavy handed to remove more material if you need to. The shape allows you to work on flat edges, curved edges and also hard to reach edges with the tip. Start by removing the sprue connections that are left attached. You find it's easier to remove them more cleanly this way than it would have been directly off the sprue. Now take your time removing all of the mould lines around the parts using the scraping tool. Work slowly with a small amount of pressure as you don't want to remove more material than you need to. We're now ready to get these pieces put together. I want to go through the different glues that are mainly used by people first of all before going over how to put the actual miniatures together. The first glue I want to talk about is poly cement or plastic glue and as you guessed by the name this glue is designed to work with plastic. This glue works by dissolving the plastic creating a weld between the two pieces when it's dry to create a very strong bond. The other most common type of glue used is super glue which reacts to moisture making it very sticky forming a bond holding both parts together. This bond can be broken quite easily with enough force without damaging the part which we can use to our advantage later. When putting your miniatures together make sure to take your time, follow the instructions and always dry fit the parts testing out the fit before using any glue. And whilst you're putting your miniatures together there may be times when you want to leave some parts separate to make painting them easier. By leaving the part that is getting in the way separate we can easily get to the places that need painting without any trouble. Deciding which parts to leave separate does take some experience but the best thing to do is to look at images of the fully assembled miniature and figure out if any of the parts will interfere too much with painting. You could leave as many parts separate as you like, even every part if needs be. It's completely up to you and how detailed you want to get. So once you've built your miniatures and you have your sub-assemblies, you want to mount the different parts on something to hold on to whilst you paint them. It's going to be really difficult painting these parts without mounting them on something first of all. And one of the things I really like to use are blocks from a cheap tower game. Now when it comes to actually mounting the parts to these blocks, most of the time you can get away with just using some super glue. And using super glue is great because you can break off the part once you've finished painting it. Some parts are a little trickier to attach straight to the block though. But we can use some paper clips to make sure the parts can be mounted in such a way we're able to get to all the areas to paint. To do this, drill a small hole somewhere on the part that won't be visible once you've finished the miniature. You'll need a pin vise and a drill bit that matches the size of a paper clip. Bend the paper clip so you're able to glue one end in place first of all. Then you want to decide how you want the part to be orientated on the block by bending the paper clip. Cut the other end of the paper clip, making sure you have extra length than you think you'll need. And finally drill a hole in the block 
and then glue the other end of the paper clip in place. We've now managed to get our miniature built and ready to be undercoated. I hope you found this video useful and you now have the confidence to go away and do this yourself. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.